Today we will explore the profound and comprehensive meaning of La ilaha illallah, there is no God but Allah. This declaration is not just a statement of faith, but a commitment to a way of life that encompasses all aspects of our existence. We will delve into the meanings of the term ilah, God, and its implication in our daily lives as Muslims. أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على رسولنا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين أما بعد The term ilah is an Arabic word with deep and varied meanings reflecting the multifaced nature of Allah's relationship with His creation Here are some of the meanings Worship and servitude The word alaha means to worship, to serve. An ilah, a god, is one who is worshipped. This signifies that Allah is the sole entity worthy of our worship and our servitude. The second meaning, uh, protection and security. Alaha also means to protect and to provide security. Allah is our protector, the one that provides safety and reassurance. The third meaning, Awe and wonder. Aliha means to be in awe or wonder. We are in awe of Allah's greatness and His perfect creation. For love and devotion, Walaha or Waliha implies to be passionately in love. This reflects our deep love and devotion to Allah, similar to a bond between a mother and her child. Five, hidden and veiled. Laha means to be hidden or veiled. Allah is unseen. Yet, His presence and His power are evident in everything. 6. Joy and Engagement Laha refers to one who occupies by bringing joy. Allah brings true happiness and contentment to our hearts. 7. Fear and Reverence Hawala signifies fear and reverence. We fear Allah's displeasure and seek to obey His commands. 8. Light and guidance. Halatun means the halo or light around the moon. Allah is the light of the heaven and the earth and is guiding us with his revelation. Nine, the last one, proximity and kinship. Ahlun denotes family or followers. Allah is close to his servants and we draw near to him through faith and righteous deeds. When we declare La ilaha illallah, we are proclaiming that no entity deserves worship except Allah. This declaration encompasses the essence of Tawheed and rejects any form of idolatry or association with Allah. It signifies our total submission to Allah's will in every aspect of our lives. Saying La ilaha illallah is a commitment to a life of obedience to Allah in all matters. In worship, قُلْ إِنَّ الصَّلَاةِ وَنُسُكِ وَمَحْيَايَ وَمَمَاتِ لِلَّهِ رَبِّ الْعَالَمِينَ لَا شَرِيكَ لَهِ وَبِذَلِكَ أُمِرْتُ وَأَنَا أَوَّلُ الْمُسْلِمِينَ Say, indeed, my prayer, my race of sacrifice, my life and my death are for Allah, Lord of all the world. He has no partners and this I have been commanded and I'm the first of the Muslims. In personal conduct, our behavior, ethics and morals are guided by Allah's commandment. We strive to embody the values taught by Islam in our interactions with others, in social and economic life. We are dear to Islamic principles in our business dealings, uh, financial transactions, and social responsibilities. We recognize that Allah is the ultimate authority in all these matters. In political and legal affairs, our loyalty is to Allah above any earthly authority. So, understanding that life as a whole is an act of worship, every action we take is an occasion to earn Allah's pleasure. From how we earn and spend money to how we engage with people, every aspect is an expression of our devotion to Allah. By declaring La ilaha illallah, we affirm that all our efforts are for Allah alone and we submit to His guidance in every aspect of our life. May Allah grant us all strength and sincerity to live by this declaration in its fullest sense in every aspect of our life. Subhanakallahumma wa bihamdik. Ashhadu an la ilaha illa ant. Astaghfiruka wa atubu ilayk. 
Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.